Okay, here in transfer section, we are seeing the thyroid. This is an ultrasound of a thyroid gland of a 55 years old female. And uh, what you are seeing is, in this view, that this is the common carotid artery. This is the internal jugular vein, the landmark for the identification of the lobe of the thyroid. And this is the transfer section uh, showing you the right lobe of the thyroid gland. This cystic area measuring less than 5 mm or 3.7 millimeter is the parathyroid gland that is uh, visualized uh, in this region. Now this area is representative of isthmus, measures approximately 2.5 mm and uh, these, uh, this is the cartilage, this is the tracheal air and uh, this uh, right lobe of the thyroid is normal by all parameters. No calcification, no focal mass is seen relating to the right lobe of the thyroid in transverse and this is the longitudinal section of the right thyroid gland. Here you see this is the uh, parathyroid gland that you have seen and uh, this is the common carotid artery. This is the longitudinal section of the right lobe of the thyroid gland. With this area representing parathyroid gland. And uh, now, this is the other parathyroid gland at the posterior inferior part of the uh, right loop. This is the another parathyroid gland. So, okay. This is okay. It smells is okay. Now, this is the uh, left lobe of the thyroid. And you can see that uh, this is the left loop of the thyroid. This area, normal measurement. With this being common carotid artery. And uh, here comes the internal jugular vein the landmarks for the identification of the thyroid gland. Now the thyroid gland, major part of the thyroid gland tissue is preserved, whereas from its posterior inferior surface, because now I am going to give, an, I am going to angle the probe posteriorly, we will see a, a, a cystic mass with that is full of uh, uh, internal echoes, is bounded by a thick rim of tissue around. This is the, this it is relating to the posterior inferior surface of the left thyroid gland. There we are. You see there are, this is the thick echogenic band seen internal cystic area containing tiny ecogenic particles and there are more are giving few are giving comotel artifacts consistent with some uh, cholesterol calculi and uh, these there are septiles within it it contains septations and so, uh, you will see these are the tiny incomplete thin septiles the uh, tin septa. Now these are suggestive of some cholesterol calculi. This is the flute part. This area is representative of the flute part in which are suspended multiple tiny echo echoes. And this is the thick echogenic rim, uh, irregular uh, uh, surrounding the cyst in, uh, central cystic area. This he could hypopoic, relatively hypopoic, but for the, for the cyst, it's an ecogenic area around the cystic uh, mass we are seeing. Here, let me show you. Now this one, if you see that uh, this is a thick ecogenic ring around this cystic area in the center with a few pockets, other pockets as well. Here you see this is another pocket and there are multiple tiny calcifications seen within uh, this uh, 
it's uh, approximate volume is as well as the measurement 3.92 centimeter by 3 centimeter by 3.5 centimeter with an approximate volume of 22 ml and uh, the last thing to see is if it has any vascularity uh, within it or around the ring of tissue that we saw <laughs> and sorry see there is no significant vascularity seen within this uh, cystic mass relating to the posterior and previous surface of the uh, left lobe of the thyroid. No. So, this is our case of the day. Right lobe, isthmus, left lobe, as I move posterior and clearly, it comes the cystic mass seat. Thank you very much.